saying, hey, what are you doing today? <laughs> Is anybody home and up on the countertop today? I have something I want to show you. I'm going to wait and see if you hop on here. I love the YouTube Live, except I know when people watch this after the fact because they're going to come and tune in because, you know, they want to know how to use this Irish moss. They want to use it. They watched about the benefits, and then now they're like, okay, I understand why not just to have a white flour tortilla. Show me how to do it. And so when people come over to do that, they don't want to hear all the yin-yang of me saying, hey, y'all. Hey, what are you doing? But that's just how it is. <laughs> So I'm thinking about having a little tea in a minute. These are some of my favorite things while y'all are hopping on. This is my little essential oil burner. Do y'all love this? It's got a little, see there's a little place in there. Hmm? This is my favorite oil right here, which has nothing to do with the video. Hey Maritza, what are you doing? <laughs> this is my favorite all time, peace and harmony. Do y'all like it? Beautiful. I also like this one. Mm-mm. Cheer up, buttercup. Do y'all see? Love it. You're working. So I'm fixing to show you and tell you, not really show you because this is after the fact, but I'm going to tell you something really impressive about these wraps, okay? So the other day I showed you, and if you, if you didn't see that, on uh, why you would want to use the benefits, the who, what, when, where, and how of Irish moss. I taught that just um, day before yesterday, and it's over on my YouTube channel. But what we did is we took Irish moss, and I meant to get this out to you. I thought I had everything ready. Here we go. So, um, yes, we took Irish moss just like it comes. You see like this. It's like sea dried, okay, sun dried. And what you're going to do is follow those instructions I showed you over there on my last video of how to prepare it. So that then, therefore, the next stage is this because you've washed, rinsed, washed, soaked, rinsed, and washed and rinsed, right? And there it is. And that's how it looks like that, okay? And I even showed you a taste test of how this tastes um, just on its own. Looks like that, do you see? Okay, so that's what we used. And also then I showed you how to make it into the gel that you will store in the refrigerator. You see that? So I showed you all those things, all the different stages of the Irish moss. Um, and I taught you how to do that. But now I'm gonna show you how to use it other than just in a smoothie or to thicken a sauce or um, uh, a recipe like that. I want to show you how to make a wrap out of it, okay? You're going to be impressed with this, and I showed it the other day, but do y'all see? What's impressive is you all know if you're trying to make wraps that are raw, they have a tendency to be very fragile. It's hard to get them the right density. It's hard to get them to where they're still flexible. Um, they don't last long. They There's just some issues with them like this, but not this, and I'm going to tell you how I know this. Look at this. Do y'all see? Look at the pliability of it. Do you see? Let me get you another one so you can understand the, the do y'all see? I want you to get the full effect of that, okay? Um, I'm going to show you rolling one of these up, but as you see, like, look, I stop it and say my name. Like, that is, I invented that. <laughs> do you see my invention? Do you see it? Okay, so anyway, I want to tell you how to make that, and then I'm going to tell you what it tastes like, and um, and I'm going to show you, well, let me show you right now how this rolls up, just like, okay, do y'all see, this is just an extra piece I have, but look, do you understand? Are you picking this up? Okay, look, I mean, I'm just trying to let you see that You all that have made raw wraps know how impressive that is. You know it's impressive. Okay, so anyway, um, what we had in that is I took in my high speed blender two cups of the moss. I didn't use the, uh, the gel, I just used the soaked moss. Okay, so two packed cups of this. If you're gonna use it already in gel form, I would go with about one and a half cups because obviously that's gonna take out all the air pockets where there's gonna be some you know, little air holes in this. So, so you would want to go with two cups of this or one and a half cup of your gel that you made. Like I showed you how to do it, okay? All right, you're gonna take that. Then you're gonna put that in your high speed blender. You're gonna put in one and a half cups of water, okay? This is another thing, okay? If you're gonna use the gel, 
you've already added a little water to that so you may not need as much water so I would start with about half a cup of water on that okay because typically when you're gonna blend um, say you're gonna make the gel you've used two cups of moss to two cups of water so you've it's half water already so obviously you're gonna need to figure that out so start out with a half a cup to maybe three quarters cup of water on that but I would prefer you just take this put it into your blender so when you suck this overnight and you get it all prepped and you're ready to make the gel I would just make some gel and leave some like this because it will last in the fridge for a month okay so you put it in there two cups of that one and a half cups of water six apricots I like these that are unsulfurized sun-dried apricots why apricots because they have a they have a very pliable situation when you put them in dressings or soups or sauces they give it a real it almost adds a stickability to a dressing because it it really it's a nice binder is what I'm trying to say so anyway six of those is what I used um, then somebody's gonna ask me could they use dates you could I would probably go with about four but see the thing is that's a more sweet taste than these apricots are a little more neutral than that they're not quite as sweet and also they give that pliability so I'll try to do the apricots okay so then we took our flax seeds okay and I only took a little less than half of a cup for the whole recipe okay and this made like a a nine tray worth dehydrator full and another half so that is a lot and I'm not gonna eat all that at once but still that's a very low amount of fat for all that wrap circumference you know what I'm saying <laughs> diameter I guess anyway so you take these and you're gonna put the fresh seeds because I've reminded you to use those whole raw and fresh therefore when you grind those in your very cheap two dollar refurbished coffee bean grinder from the thrift store that you are going to then release the nutrients and the omega fatty acids and such right then because when you buy ground flax meal meal like that ahead it's already lost a lot of nutrients so don't do that there's just no reason it's very cheap and easy so again the recipe going into your blender was one and a half cups of water two cups of packed moss like this okay when it's in this form before you've turned it to gel six apricots and a little less than half of a cup of the flax meal you blend that at this point I made this recipe without really a flavor punch component because I wanted to just see how it tasted on its own like it tastes very bread like and very neutral okay it does not taste like Irish moss because Irish moss has no taste it does not smell like seaweed it smells like bread friends hmm? can you smell so anyway then what you're gonna do is in your dehydrator you're gonna turn up the heat on there to 115 degrees Fahrenheit you are gonna take out your sh your tray you're gonna put on your paraflex or teflex sheet or parchment paper you're going to pour on your batter like I said you'll use about two-thirds of it on the tray if you have a nine tray if you have a four tray which has a a slimmer um, it's not as wide you know those trays are smaller so you're gonna be able to get two full trays okay you're gonna pour it on there you're gonna try to self level it like you would a batter of a pancake and then you're gonna take something like this which is my favorite little tool for levering this is a Vitamix spatula okay and you're just gonna smooth it. any kind of spatula or the side of a big knife I use this sometimes too okay what is also awesome you get that as level as you can it had a little bit of self leveling properties but what else is great is the batter is so dense that then I took this and I like went along the edges so it was a really clean edge so when it came out it was a total square like it rocked and I could basically cut down through there and slice it and bend it okay so I did that and here's what happened I slid it back in there for a minute for just a little bit and I was I was doing my makeup and stuff and when I came back it had dried out a dash more than I wanted so if this happens to you don't panic you simply take it out put the put the um, wrap on your cutting board take a damp paper towel just damp lay it on there and it will rehydrate but it will not fall apart this is something that's very tricky to do with other kind of raw wraps so it's not gonna fall apart I mean again it's very look do y'all see and what, what else I want to tell you about this that's impressive I, I just really want you to get the full full understanding of this okay I'm fixing to look at the comments but 
What's also awesome about this is I was going to eat this and then I went out to eat instead. This was the night before last. So what I did was I tucked it. I had already wrapped it up, okay? This one right here has been like this with these leaves that have a little bit of moisture in here for now a day and a half. Hello, look, it's like steel. Do y'all understand? Like you're picking this up. If you're, if you're a raw foodie, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I just put it in my Debbie Meyer green box. This is why it would be great to travel to lunch. It would be great to take on an outing, a picnic, on your travel day, whatever. It's a great thing, right? So anyway, I wanted you to see that. Do you want to see? Do you want to have a little taste test of the edge of one? Just to see. Um, let me just show you too. Let me see if I can... Can y'all see that? Okay, let me show you something with one hand here. Um, excuse me. Look, do y'all see this? Look at this. Did you, can we cut it again? Here, ready? I have invented the perfect raw wrap. You can say it right now. Look at that. I mean, when you when you can roll it up like this and it doesn't break, it doesn't have any two crunchies or anything like that. Look at that. Hmm? Shall we have a little taste test? <laughs> it's exciting. It really is. Mm, Christopher will be back home. And he will not expect me to be on live and you can see him. This tastes like, here's what it tastes like, Ezekiel Sprouted Bread Wraps. Shh, I am clearly working. See that? It does not have the texture of seaweed. It's very neutral. So what I was going to tell you, okay. Christopher taking public speaking, and he has to do a speech today. Look at that. That's a little apricot I didn't get blended. Do you know why? Because my blender, it wants to shut off when I'm trying to blend dense things. Look at that. Christopher, look at this raw wrap that's been in this box for two days and didn't even fall apart. Made, out, made out of Irish moss. Cool. Look at that. Nice. It's impressive. Mm -hmm. I invented that. Bye, see you later <laughs> anyway so let's see what y'all are saying because everybody understand it tastes like ezekiel wraps sprouted wraps this has all the benefits of not coagulating your system not mucus forming all the benefits of irish moss in the form of a tasty wrap i have to see what y'all are saying you feel teased when i have a taste test i'm sorry and jen from the block is here Jenny, it is impressive. I mean, look, there might be a lot of other things in my life that are chaos, but this right here, you can say my name, girl. <laughs> uh, Jen is my good friend. Send you a wrap. Hey, Renata, what are y'all doing? So now we'll just chat. And so that way, if, if you're just a person who's tuning in for these, oh, by the way, you put that into the dehydrator, 115 degrees, you slide it in. A little bit later on, these did not take as long to dehydrate. Impressive. After a few hours, flip it over. Actually, take the grid of another one. Put it on top of that. Flip it over. Take the bottom tray off. Peel off the Paraflex paper or Teflex sheet. And then you slide it in the rest of the way. If you over dehydrate it, simply re-moisten with a paper towel. I'm not kidding. These things are they are indestructible. Do you understand? Indestructible. Because... If it can sit in your lunch box for a day and a half and not fall apart, I mean, look. Look, not falling apart. Do y'all see this? You, I mean, it's almost like a toy. Like, watch it wiggle, see it jiggle. Tanny roll. Irish moss wraps. Look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, yes. 
patent that recipe, girl. If only I knew how. Like I could, I could be actually able to love my job and buy gasoline at the same time. It would be a great thing. But oh well, loving your job's one thing too, right? Run, Forrest, run. Who's saying that? <laughs> You're not trying to imply that I sound like Forrest Gump, are you? Because I, somebody in my life says that, and it is very irritating. <laughs> it's really not, but. Mm. That's right. Do y'all see? Did everybody see me cut it? Do y'all have any more questions about this? Yes, I'm gonna come up with a wrap, a dehydrated recipe 2.0, okay? Because it's gonna be wraps, raw wraps to rock your world, right? Butterfly wraps to transform your life. Elena, I made a video on Irish moss just two days ago. You can watch it on my channel of what it is. It's a seaweed. It's not really a moss. It starts out like this. Very nutrient dense. And I also talked to you about the safety. I covered all, all points of interest, okay? Then you soak it. You drain it. You rinse it. It turns into this, okay? Then you can make a gel out of it to add to soup, sauces, and smoothies to jack up your nutritional gain. Also to jack up your weight loss because it is a filler and it keeps you satiated and satisfied and balanced and not hungry. And that's what you want. You want to be in control, right? You want to come to your life every day knowing that nothing you eat tastes better than feeling good feels. And that all sounds good till you get hungry. Tips and tricks with Tanny. Like, we can do this thing, right? Hey, Joshua. Butterfly wraps. Shall we try it? Th this might get in my teeth. I don't know, but y'all don't care. Mm. Mm. Just like Ezekiel wraps, which used to, used to be one of my favorites. Anyway, so I'm going to go, and I love you. And might I suggest you get your wrap on? <laughs> Bye. Love y'all.